Hey folks, so OpenAI just released the GPT 4.1 model family and on paper it really is everything you'd want. And so OpenAI says it outperforms the GPT 4.0 models across the board um, with major gains in coding and instructions following. Um, an interesting thing here is that all of the models announced today, and so there are about three models, Nano, Mini and Full 4.1, um, they all have increased token length of, of about a million tokens and so that's very very helpful when building systems. However, of all of the capabilities that were announced today, I think what I find the most interesting is all of the advances in instruction following. And if you have followed any of my previous videos, you might have heard me allude to the fact that the ability to follow instructions is like the bread and butter of uh, most multi-agent or agentic systems that are built using generative AI models. And so in this video, I will be testing out how this specific model performs in general on about two tasks. The first will be simple travel planning uh, task. Um, using a multi-agent system. And the second is some deep research tasks. Um, let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to head over to our gallery and sort of define a GPT 4.1 model. And just for convenience, I have gone ahead and done that earlier. And this is what the configuration of that model looks like. Um, and once we're done with that, we can head over and click on the test button just to make sure the model actually works correctly and we can save it. So for the most part, we just need to add a new model name, GPT 4.1. And in the JSON editor, we might need to put in a few fields here. Once we're done with that, we can head over to the team builder interface and we can take any of the default teams that ship with Autogen. So for example, the default deep research teams, or we could create a custom travel planning team. And what we want to do is to um, essentially switch the models here. And we might just want to drag in the, um, the right model from this gallery and put that into uh, into our teams. And so I've gone ahead and done all of that um, earlier. So for example, I have a GPT 4.1 deep research team and a 4.0 deep research team. And these are exactly the same thing. So for example, they have a selected group chat team container. Um, each of them have a one research agent and one verify agent and one summary agent and a user proxy and the exact same thing. Um, and then for the travel teams, I have um, just a few more model uh, agents, so planner agent, a local agent, language agent, that sort of thing, um, a travel summary agent. And the only difference between each of these teams is some of them are powered by GPT-4 models and some by 4.1 models. Let's go ahead and test them interactively. And so first we're gonna create a couple of sessions. So we're gonna create, we're gonna select a GPT-4 travel team, create a session, GPT-4.1 travel team, create a session, I think it was uh, 4.0, create a session. Okay, now we have these two sessions, we can hit compare, um, make sure we have 4.0 on the left, 4.1 on the right. And then we might see things like, um, plan a two day trip to Barcelona. We can mirror that across the second and sort of hit send on both sides. And we'll see, um, about the same speed, but for 4.1 and 4.0, um, that looks great, makes sense. Um, and I don't expect to see much differences um, across you know, how agents are scheduled, um, but I do expect to see higher quality final reports from GPT 4.1 compared to 4. Okay, so 4 is done. And now uh, 4.1 is done. So let's see, um, this is 4.0. It says um, today Barcelona travel plan highlights all of that. This looks reasonable. Day one, historical heart and local flavors, reasonable. Day two, gutty local vibes and coasts, reasonable. Um, language and communication tips, reasonable. Um, practical information, reasonable cost estimates, okay, reasonable safety and etiquette apps to download. Um, day by day schedule, there's a nice little table here and that ends. Let's see what 4.1 did over here. Okay, so it gives an overview, crafted for visitors, okay, makes sense. Day one, nice formatting, bolding, and all of that. Um, morning, midday, afternoon, evening for day one, just a little bit more details. Um, day two, Okay, this looks sensible of that language tips are looking good additional tips are looking good final recap for sample 
day one and day two um all good um some good formatting here versus 4.0 but i didn't see a strong amount of differences here um all right not too bad on the first test let's go ahead and conduct another test okay for the next task um i have gone ahead and defined two uh teams um two deep research teams one powered by 4.0 and 4.1 and i'm gonna give them a task to sort of research the topic and write a final report and so i have written an article recently about 10 ways to compare um, multi-agent frameworks so 10 dimensions from things like async first design events driven architecture and all of that and i am going to give each of these teams a json file so i'm going to paste that right here and i'm going to say um conduct a research report that evaluates autogen on each of the dimensions um, in the JSON file. So I'm going to copy this over to both sides and I'm going to give, um, so here, I think I just need to switch this to GPT-4 deep research and GPT-4.1 deep research and hit send and send. And while this is going, one thing I should mention is that um, the JSON file I just gave to these teams uh, mostly just outlines each of the dimensions and a few questions that should be asked. And what I expect is that each of these teams should go ahead and use the Google search tool to sort of try to verify each of these dimensions and sort of synthesize the score and then return the final JSON at the end of the day. So let's sort of see how well they do. Okay, so both have now finished. And so um, let's see, 319,000 tokens later for GPT-4, or I think it had a lot of mistakes, went in a bunch of loops. Um, and then 203,000 tokens on GPT-4.1. So it looks like GPT-4.1 seems to have made less mistakes, went in less loops. Um, so if we look at the <laughs> control for diagram for um, 4 -O, we see there's a lot of thick lines here. So thick lines here means that there's a lot of loops across the research assistant and the verifier indicating that a lot of work was done that just did not satisfy the task. And we have much less of that here um, on GIP to 4.1, which is a really, really good thing. It sort of indicates that um, 4.1 is using tools uh, with less mistakes. It's using them in a manner that's efficient and does not require retries. So that makes sense. Um, let's sort of take a look at the final um, result for a startup with 4.0. So it says like Autogen is an open source framework here. Okay, good. Developer experience. Um, okay, asynchronous API says it's like built to do that. It does have checkpoint and workflow management, serialization capabilities is correct. Okay, it's good source in here. Multi-agent pattern, okay, all good. And there are some links to documentation here. That looks like a good effort. Um, now let us look at um, the 4.1 report. Um, okay, so right off the bat, um, we can see that I, I did ask for scoring across dimensions and the JSON file just suggest, does suggest that we should sort of return scores. And this does a much better job here. Um, it returns the table, a bunch of details and all that. And so I think just from this alone, you know, I, I, I definitely feel like, you know, this passes the vibe check that this model is definitely indeed better in terms of instruction following and just overall um, ability to use tools and uh, perform tasks and uh, do things like evaluate and sort of direct the flow of control across applications. Okay, so this brings me to the end of the video. I think um, we did two things. First of all, we compared um, GPT-4.0 and 1 um, around the simple multi-agent system for travel planning. Um, I did see comparable performance. However, when we went to something like deep research where we need like uh, a team to sort of orchestrate the control flow across multiple agents, um, I think my, my feeling is that GPT-4.1 definitely does a much, much better job. Um, sort of seems to be better fine-tuned to agentic behaviors, calling tools, and just overall accuracy. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video, this quick overview, and I'll catch you in the next one.